Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here in my studio. This is the first video coming from my studio where I'm not working on a project or painting something or hanging something up. There's still some work to do. Got to hang some stuff on the walls, but it's, it's coming along. I got my couch, got my camera and we're good. I can finally feel good about shooting some of these sitting down and talking videos, I guess. Well, as I was working on the studio, I came across this box here. Um, it was a box that I got for Christmas and I've had it since, you know, 20 years probably. And I've just over the years filled it with stuff that I've gotten over the years. <laughs> anyway, um, I kind of took a peek inside and as I looked inside, I was like, hey, you know what? That would be a pretty sweet video as a way for you guys to get to know me if I start digging through this, pulling things out, telling the story behind them. Now, there's a ton of stuff in here and in the interest of time, we won't go through everything. But yeah, I'm gonna call this video The Junk in My Trunk. And if you want me to open this, then go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Just kidding, I'm gonna open it anyway. But if you do like this video, then definitely hit that subscribe button. So yeah, let's get started. I remember getting this, it, we were celebrating Christmas at my sister's house in Las Vegas. So I, I remember getting the trunk then, and then my mom didn't have enough presents for me or something. So the night before Christmas, we went to some shopping center in Las Vegas and she bought me some shoes. I've always been a sticker guy. We saw this sticker pack at the van store. So that's where most of these stickers have come from on the trunk. So yeah, let's uh, let's see what's inside. Like I said, I, I took a peek early on in here just to kind of get an idea of what was in here. But uh, right on top is this jacket. And what's funny about this jacket is that I was thinking about it the other day. It says Cougar Baseball. And it has my last name on it right here. Now, the funny story behind this jacket is I played baseball in high school from ninth grade through 11th grade. And in the, in the 11th grade, I wasn't quite sure if I was gonna make the team or not, but the coach wanted us to put in our jacket orders. Well, I think in the late nineties is when this was early 2000s and it was 60 bucks for a jacket. And I was like, I don't wanna pay 60 bucks for a jacket if I'm not gonna make the team. Well, made the team, didn't have a jacket. So my dad, bless his heart, went to this lady in our neighborhood who had an embroidery machine and go, went ahead and designed the jacket as close as possible to what they had ordered as a team. So I show up day of the game uh, with this jacket on and the coach said, hey, where'd you get that jacket? And I said, well, my dad had it made because I wasn't sure I was gonna make the team. He said, no, we can't be making our own jackets. You have to have a team jacket because it looks slightly different. I think the lettering was a little bit off. And something that I regret that kind of shows what my personality was like in high school was I uh, didn't ever wear it again. Um, I was kind of embarrassed because the coach got upset. And I felt bad because my dad had this jacket made and I was so, I mean, I was grateful for it, but then because it was different in high school and the pressure and all that stuff, I didn't wear it and now I feel bad, but I'm glad I still have it. It's just one of those things that reminds me of my childhood. Um, senior year, I didn't even try out for baseball. I'd see my friends skateboarding in the parking lot junior year. I was like, that looks like a lot more fun. I'm, you know, I, I enjoy sports, but as you can tell, I'm not the most athletic person. But that brings me to this next item here. Oh, I actually have two of them. I wonder if these still fit. Little jerseys. They were interchangeable in case, you know, the other team showed up in black. You could put on your yellow one. I was number 10. And what it says is Upper Valley, Utah, Jazz youth basketball. So I live in Utah. The Jazz is our team. At that time, I actually lived in Idaho and um, was never really good at basketball. Sixth grade, I quit. And I remember the pivotal, pivotal moment of quitting when my team was on offense and this kid named Dusty, I was guarding him like I was on defense. And he said, hey, don't you know your team's on offense? 
and again, I got embarrassed, didn't play much basketball after that. But one thing I do remember about Junior Jazz, which was a cool experience, is we got to drive from Idaho in a big tour bus down to Utah and see the Jazz play. At the time, it was called the Delta Center, now it's Vivint Smart Home Arena. And when we got there, let's see, we got there late because there was a big snowstorm over one of the passes we had to go through. And then they closed the path, the pass after the game. And so they actually wouldn't let us drive back to Idaho. So we got to spend the night in the basketball arena. And a funny story about that is they wheeled in all this popcorn and soda and gave it to a bunch of kids, you know, basically first grade through sixth grade. And the adult chaperones were really, <laughs> really put off by that. We kept them up all night. So yeah, there's that. Got a couple hats in here, several hats. Actually, this one says, I voted for Clinton, but I went to church and begged for forgiveness. Now this was Bill Clinton, but I actually came across this hat and this isn't a political statement whatsoever. I was just kind of into quirky things, but I came across this hat at this tiny gas station in the middle of nowhere, Alaska, and they just had a bunch of random hats. And uh, there we go. Uh, got this hat in Alaska. All right, a couple of other weird things here. I got this uh, old army med kit and this gas mask. Uh, I'm sure these came from Smith and Edwards. This actually has my dad's initials on it. Um, this was something that he used to play with as a kid, but I believe it was a real US issued gas mask. Somebody drew some uh, little eye eyeballs on the mask. And uh, yeah, this is something that we've always played with, but I think he had it ever since he was a kid. Has his name right on the canister. Definitely wouldn't keep you safe in any uh, toxic situation, but it sure was cool to pretend to play army with. All right, a couple of other things here. Another hat, oh, the liner came out. A Devo hat. Now, I've never, you know, I've only know one song by Devo, maybe two, the Whip It song. Do, 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 do. But I drove buses for security at the Vancouver Olympics and Devo was one of the bands that performed. And during their performance, they actually had handed these hats out and so everyone in the audience was wearing devo hats so that was pretty cool speaking of alaska got an alaska license plate uh utah plate these came off of my car um, i got my car registered in alaska pretty sweet up there i don't know if it's still the same but uh you only have to get it registered every two years and so that was nice to have so i used to work uh in the summers in Alaska driving tour buses for the cruise line. So that's how I got the bus driving job in Canada. That's why I have Alaska plates. Don't have the car that that was on. And I guess while I'm in here, here is my security lanyard. This got you into a few events. Our clearance was the lowest. There was some clearance at the Olympics. This again was the Vancouver Olympics that um, they could go anywhere, but I got to watch uh, bobsledding. So that was cool. I think there's a video on my channel, an old low quality video that I shot on a point and shoot. Lanyard from working in Alaska. This got us dock clearance so we could drive next to the ships. Very important, especially after 9-11. And of course, my old logbook holder. This went with me everywhere. Oh, wow. And my old driver's license. Wow, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Uh, notes, old notes. I'm gonna have to read those later. Um, but as you can see, I love stickers. Put them on everything. What else do we got? Some of this stuff I don't even remember. Uh, this inf incense burner. I got that in New York City in Chinatown. Uh, got a few Allen wrenches in there. Those maybe I'll set those aside. They, they you can never have too many Allen wrenches, especially if you shop at IKEA. Uh, yeah, this was my senior trip of high school. We got to go to New York City, so a bunch of Idahoans going to New York City. Uh, quite the experience, but 
got this incense burner. It used to burn incense. Um, <laughs> I remember my parents didn't like it very much because it doesn't really smell good. And they'd come down and say, stop burning incense. Uh, I wasn't covering anything up. I just was burning incense. There we go. My old scout shirt. Yes, I am an Eagle Scout. I was having a conversation with a coworker the other day about how we think it's funny when people put uh, that they're an Eagle Scout on job applications. Um, I don't know. I, if, if I see that someone's an Eagle Scout, you know, it shows that they can be dedicated to something and, and follow through and, and work hard. So to me, it's, it, it's a good thing. Let me know in the comments below though. Let's say you're hiring somebody and you see that they're an Eagle Scout. Is that important these days or isn't it? I don't know. Um, I don't know if it'd sway me one way or, way or the other, but it was a good, fun experience. Taught me a lot about the outdoors and teamwork. What else do we have in here? Problem with taking all of this out is I'm gonna have to put it back in. Of course, rooting for USA at the Olympics, the ski team sponsored by Spider. So that was, that was an awesome experience. I actually stayed, I wasn't in Vancouver. Excuse me, I was in uh, Whistler, which is this awesome city. I'd love to spend some more time up there. Uh, let's see, what else while I'm in here? So I think I mentioned Smith & Edwards. Um, Smith & Edwards is a surplus store, and if you've ever traveled on I-15, north to south, south to north, and pass through Ogden, Utah, you're gonna see a bunch of signs for Smith & Edwards, and their slogan is, if we, if you can't find it, or if we can't find it, you don't need it. Something like that. Um, it, we have everything if, you, if we can find it. That's what it is. But uh, I used to work there. It was my first job when I moved to Utah. And these knives came in. They were actually military issue K-Bar knives. Um, correct me if I'm wrong if there's anyone in the military. But it's a pretty sweet knife. Should probably leave that out. It comes with a little sharpening stone and so forth. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff in here. We won't get through all of it. And if you want me to go through more later, let me know in the comments and we can. But um, <laughs> giant machete signed by my coworkers. I had a thing for pirates and this was the closest thing that they could find to a pirate sword when I left the job. So it's signed by a bunch of uh, coworkers out there at Smith & Edwards. Got my journal from the Olympics. That would be fun to read through. Um, there were some stressful times during there, that. Some old scout books. An old wool blanket with a bunch of my patches on it. This is a good thing to do. My mom, she's a really good sewer. And uh, if you have stuff that you're not quite sure what you want to do with, like uh, shirts or patches, just sew them into a blanket. You can never have too many blankets. And so it's got everything from scout patches to high school logo. Um, Alaska stuff was really into ska music and so forth. All right, these things are starting to stack up. There's a bunch more scout stuff in here. Um, I have a plan, a bunch of planners. So I was a missionary for the LDS church, and you were supposed to plan every single day. So I kept these planners. There's a ton of them in here. I'll have to organize them, but. Basically, it's a record of everything I did for two years, who I met, uh, some of the goals that we set, and so forth. So that's what these are. I believe they're in six-week increments. So that'd be kind of cool to go see exactly what I did day to day. Obviously, that was before everything was posted on social media. More scout stuff. I was a good little scout. Now, again, you wouldn't know this by looking at me, but I have ran a half marathon and I did a relay the first year I was married with my wife so got a couple of medals um, you know it's not something that I would just hang up in the living room or something because I don't want to tout something that I'm not but they're good reminders that I can do hard things okay it looks like we're kind of getting down to the end I've actually been wondering where this hat was too oh geez 
a conductor hat. I used to think that conductor hats were so cool looking. Um, when I worked in Alaska, I know a lot about Alaska Scouts, whatever, big parts of my life. But uh, um, when the conductors had these hats on, I thought they were so cool. So, of course, I had to snag me one. And I think actually my friends, well, no, I remember. A friend of mine gave this to me for my birthday. So, well, let's see. I don't want to make too much of a mess. More scout stuff uh, kind of coming down to the end of it. Um, oh, well, this was a, uh, a something that we actually devised for our buses. Um, we didn't have auxiliary cables, but we had microphones for the PA system. So we figured out a way to convert the XLR plug-in to a 1 8 inch jack so we could actually listen to music um, when we were deadheading. That means an empty bus. So don't know if I'll ever have to use that again, but I have it. It's a good memento. All right. Oh, more planners. Um, well, maybe I did get down through this a little bit quicker than I thought I would. Lots of papers, uh, things that I wrote for school, um, stuff from this DC trip that we went on. Went to a Mets versus Reds, ga Reds game on 4-14-2001, uh, because we were there right before 9-11, so I actually got to see the Twin Towers in person. Uh, yeah, more paperwork. All right, we'll end on a, on a, a cute note, but uh, got this little bear here. I think this was given to me by one of my friends that worked on the train. But here you go. My baby shirt from when I was a newborn. So this tells a story. I got my first hug at McCall Memorial Hospital in McCall, Idaho. That's where I was born, um, lived there for about six months, so obviously I don't remember it, but I have been back to McCall since, and it's a beautiful city if you've ever been there. Moved to Nevada till I was five, moved to Southeast Idaho, St. Anthony to be exact, until I was 19, then moved down to Utah, which is where I ended up. In between there, worked a bunch of summers in Alaska, um, that's where I did my LDS mission as well. So that's my connection there. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it in this trunk. Like I said, I was, uh, you know, not sure of everything that was in here. A uh, couple of flags, Bob Marley flag, a Pirates flag. My baseball team is the Braves. But like I said before, uh, I like Pirates. An Alaska flag, a Canada flag. And yeah, now I have to put all this stuff back together all right well you guys thanks for watching hopefully you found that interesting i've been wanting to do this video for a little while and uh it, it was fun for me to go through it hopefully it was fun for you to get to know me a little bit better and keep watching these videos um you know there's kind of a variety of videos that are on this channel i like to hike be outdoors um work on things tinker so Hopefully you can find something on this channel that you that you enjoy. Again, thanks for watching. If you really enjoyed it, then of course subscribe, give me a like, comment below, stuff you want to see, and uh, yeah, hope you have a great week.